a dimension. It's a realm where possibilities are kept. It's a realm where graces are kept. It's a realm where realities are kept. Every dimension is governed by a law. If you violate that law, the dimension will vomit you. Ask those who command possibilities. They know the laws they are obeying to stay there. There are laws that bring you there. But when you come there, there are laws that keep you there. Because what keeps dimensions in operation are laws. It's not mercy. It's not favor. Please hear this. We have abused mercy. We have abused favor. That's why we cannot retain any reality. What keeps you in a dimension are the laws that govern those dimensions. If you enter a, a territory, the first thing that greets you are the laws of the land. They are gatekeepers that will insist that you are in alignment with the law of that realm even before you approached it. For those of you who travel, before you enter a nation, you will meet the immigration officers. The laws that bring, permit you to enter, they would have vetted it before they grant you access. And while you are in, you will be in because you are in alignment with the laws of that land. That's how dimensions operate. There are many believers who just want to know what to do to shift and they negate what to do to remain. You will appear like a shooting star and you will vanish overnight. Because what will keep you there are the laws and the consecrations that govern those dimensions. And the laws that govern a dimension, they flow from three things. They flow from the wisdom of God, they flow from the will of God, and they flow from the authority of God. If you violate those laws, you have compromised the wisdom of God. You have compromised the will of God, and you have compromised the authority of God. Because you have violated these three, even the mercy of God can't keep you there. When Adam was kept in Eden, he was in Eden by a law. Of all the trees that are in the garden, you may freely eat. Enjoy the possibilities in this dimension. Exercise authority so long as you are in this dimension. But what will keep you here is your obedience to these laws. If you touch it, you are gone. And the moment Adam touched it, even though God loved him, even though God had mercy on him, he could not remain in Eden. Eden had to reject him. Because what will keep you in a dimension are the laws that govern those dimensions. Remember, he said, let no one in Zion say. That means for you to dwell in Zion, your speech will have to keep you there. You can ascend to Zion by clean hands. You can ascend to Zion by a pure heart. You can ascend to Zion by humbleness or brokenness. But to dwell in Zion, your speech will keep you there. If you say what is contrary to the will of God, you will descend. Laws govern realms. And everyone operating in the dimension, there are laws keeping them there. The reason people cannot retain dimensions is because they undermine the consecrations and the laws that those dimensions impose on them. And when you do that, the wisdom that keeps you there, the will of God that you are fulfilling there, and the authority of God that keeps you there is what you have undermined. And because you have undermined it, you lose the right to operate there. And so that realm will leave you. And so a man who is wise in spiritual things, when he notices that the possibilities around him changes, the graces around him changes, the realities he encounters changes, the first thing he wants to do is to glorify God. And the second thing he wants to do are the new consecrations, requirements that is beginning to perceive. And when he begins to perceive those consecrations, what he will do is that he will turn them to his culture. Many times, when you find people who can command nothing, it's because their lives are lawless. And so after many years of working with God, you can't trace anything to them because they didn't retain any dimension. If you want to find the man who genuinely retained dimensions of the spirit, one of the ways you do it is that you will trace it to cultures in his life. I heard the story of Baba Lola. Every three hours in his house, they ring the bell for prayer. That is the law that kept him there. 
If you like, receive his impartation. If you like, receive his mantle. If you don't obey this law, you can't keep that dimension. The dimension will leave you. 6 a.m., prayer goes on. 9 a.m., prayer goes on. 12, prayer goes on. 3, prayer goes on. 6 p.m., round the clock. That is a law. You may pray because you love praying. You may pray because you are in a challenge. You may pray because you want to worship God. But that kind of prayer is not because he loves prayer. That kind of prayer is not because he wants to commune with God only. That kind of prayer is not because there's a challenge. Whether there's a challenge or there's no challenge. Whether he wants to commune or he doesn't want to commune. Whether he wants to seek God or he doesn't want to seek God. That cycle of time gates have become a law to him. And so, so long as he keeps it, nothing can take him from there. Every dimension you are operating in, there is a law that regulates that dimension.